Yeah, this is the Hendry Regional Medical Center. And take a look. The windows on the older part of the building, they're already boarded up to protect against Hurricane Herma when those strong winds come through here. They want to make sure this building and everything inside is kept safe. And people working in here, they're already preparing for the storm. Hospital officials tell me the emergency department will be fully staffed before, during, and after Hurricane Irma. Staff is currently in the process of discharging or transferring all of the current inpatients before the storm gets here while they can still safely do so. I talked with the CEO here who says he's dealt with similar situations in hospitals before. <laughs> We're as prepared as we can be, uh, not knowing uh, the, the intensity or the direct path of the storm. Uh, we feel like we've prepared our facility, prepared our staff, brought in extra supplies. And the hospital also tells me that they are working to have a team ready to go during and after this storm. They want to make sure that they can serve the entire community should a medical emergency come up. Coming up on Wake News at 5, I'm going to show you where people with special medical needs have to go if they're looking for shelter during the storm. Live in Clewiston, Channing Frampton, Wink News Now. Yeah, Chris, we're at Hendry Regional Medical Center, and the windows on the older part of this hospital, they are boarded up ahead of those potentially destructive winds from Hurricane Irma. But there's something that you, you need to know. This medical center is not an essential needs shelter. That means if you're in a wheelchair, if you rely on oxygen or you're on dialysis, you have to be pre-registered with Hendry County Emergency Management to stay here during the storm. However, the hospital officials do tell me that they have teams in place who are ready to respond during and after the hurricane to emergency situations to make sure that medical services stay intact and they're able to serve this community. In fact, they are discharging patients who are in this hospital right now. They're making room for people who come in here to the emergency room, which is going to stay open. I asked one of the patients being discharged what she thinks of this hospital's willingness to stay open during this dangerous situation. Well, I think it's awesome. Really, these kind of things, you find out what people are made of. Something else to keep in mind, the special needs shelter will be located at West Glade School and will open at 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Anyone using that shelter with special needs has to have a caregiver staying with them. Anyone else who needs a shelter from Hurricane Irma can go to LaBelle Middle School or Cluiston High School. Those shelters are scheduled to open at 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Now keep this in mind before you go. If you go to any shelter in Hendry County, you are going to need your own bedding. You're going to need enough food and water to last you for at least three days as we prepare for this storm to come through. There are still areas in Hendry County where you can get sand and sandbags to prepare for flooding here. Coming up on Wink News at 6, I'll take you to one location to show you how people are continuing to get ready for this destructive, potentially destructive storm here. Live in Clewiston, Channing Frampton, Wink News Now. You're on South Olympia Street, just north of the Hendry County Health Department here, where they've got sand and sandbags here. It's one of eight locations in Hendry County where you can pick up this sand. And while the storm surge isn't going to be that big of an issue here, people here are concerned about the wind-driven rain, which could lead to flooding issues here. This is video from earlier today as folks sweated it out to fill up their sandbags. People brought their own shovels to load up. Each person limited to 25 bags, so there are enough for everyone. And I talked with one homeowner who's been through a hurricane before, he says he's taking his chances with this storm rather than risk breaking down or running out of gas trying to get out of here. Yeah, well, getting ready for any storm is hard work, so all the houses, if you drive around town, everybody's pretty much boarded up or left town. I mean, probably 60% of the people I know in town, they've left. Now, I did check with Hendry County Emergency Management to see if there's going to be more sand here tomorrow. I'm still waiting to hear back from them. In the meantime, if you don't have any sandbags, you can use mulch bags or fertilizer bags. Fill those up with sand, and they will be just about as effective as filling a bag with sand. In Clewiston, Channing Frampton, Wink News Now.